full ingredient list and method in caption. First stage for this is going to be preparing your butternut squash. So we're going to cut them. The first stage for this is going to be cutting the butternut squash. So I'm just going to peel the outside skin. First stage for this is going to be cooking the butternut squash. So you can steam it, boil it, pressure cook it, however, um, even oven roast it if you want to. But we're just going to cut off the outside skin and chop it into cubes. So that's mine chopped up. Cut them in a bit, it's roughly about a centimetre cube. Some of them obviously different shape sizes. That's what happens when you have a round vegetable, but try what you can to get it roughly about the same. I'm going to steam mine, so we want them totally soft so they blend up really well. So I steamed the butternut squash and it is totally soft. So ready to go. I've added the 250 grams of the cooked soft butternut squash into a blender, added the butter and then I'll blend up and then add the cream and blend up again. I blend up the butter with the butternut squash first because it's nice and warm so the butter melts through. That's the puree ready. So you can make this in advance and actually reheat when you're ready to cook the scallops for the rest of the dish. It also doubles very well as a weaning food. Mmm. So I've got these scallops from Bernard Corrigan. What we're going to do is take them out and just pat them dry with kitchen paper. You'll then see on the side that they each have a sinewy section. So you're just going to take a knife and cut that off. And you might find it peels round and pulls off the roll as well. If you want to keep it on, just be careful when doing this side because it actually does generally peel all the way round, as you can see, but you can pull it off to retain this. So we're just going to do that with all of them. The reason we want to take this off as well, you might think it wouldn't do any harm. It's actually really chewy, so you end up spitting it out even after the scallops been cooked anyway. So you can keep this on. If you choose not to eat it though, and you do remove it from the scallop, retain them and freeze them, and you can actually add them to like fish pie mixture. They blend down really nicely and just add a really nice taste to like fishy sauces. Season your scallops with a light sprinkling of salt. You can add pepper if you want as well. I'm going to fry the chorizo just in their own oil so they don't need anything else because these can get a wee heat through just before we're ready to serve. We're going to cook the scallops last because you never really want to reheat them and you need to cook, eat them fresh. You just want to cook it through enough that it's cooked but we still have some of that lovely oil because if we drizzle that over as well it's quite a nice aesthetic but also just lifts the flavour of the puree. So I've added some butter into the pan, not too much as you can see. We're going to melt that and then add your scallops in. Place them in the pan, do not move them and we'll do about probably about a minute to a minute and a half each size for this size of scallop. It's different depending on the size of scallop. So really do, you're looking for the scallop to lose its translucency and go opaque all the way through. So that's actually a little bit more butter than I want. I just wanted to coat the bottom. So I'm gonna take that out. We're also waiting the pan heating all the way up as well to temperature so you hear a sizzle when you put the scallops in. So I've got this in quite a high heat. And we're just waiting on the butter, giving us a wee sizzle, which is just coming before we add in the scallops. Right, the butter is turning a slight brown. We're ready to go. Perfect. 
and we're not going to move them from that position we're just going to leave them to cook for about a minute to a minute and a half and then flip them and that's us just done a minute each side perfectly caramelized because you don't touch them on both sides and now we're ready to serve Then we just finish and I've just chopped some fresh parsley. Add that over and then you're ready to serve. <laughs>